Most people know I'm not a fan of Ubuntu, mainly because of snaps and I don't like GNOME desktop environment. But Ubuntu Server, I tried out their ARM spin and it's really good. Uh, shockingly so that I bought 11 of these ARM computers, the Orange Pi 800, which Orange Pi, why'd you make 800 when it's just four gigs of RAM? It was kind of a weird naming convention. I digress. I bought a bunch of these and I wanted to load up my desktop environment, my NeoVim config, my Bash RC, and a lot of my Linux customizations, and then be able to sell 10 of these and just say, hey, here's everything I've done in Linux. This is how I live in Linux. This is a desktop replacement for the most part that I could use elsewhere as I would definitely keep one or two of them. And that is what I wanted ARM to be. And a lot of people have taken the same approach but Ubuntu server is pretty amazing because I tried Debian and I still had some issues with a lot of like the firmware, their non-free spins weren't that great in the ARM space. And then you got Fedora, you got uh, Arch, you got all these other uh, distros that have done ARM. I'd say Arch is probably really mature. And that's one thing I was like, if I was a big Arch person, I'd say Arch ARM is really where it's at uh, for those Arch guys out there. But for me, I really like the Debian uh, ecosystem. I like apt. I like all that. And I kind of wanted to integrate all my stuff into that. So Ubuntu server was actually a pretty logical choice. Having said that, let's get on the desktop so I can show you the orange Pi 800 loaded up with Ubuntu server with a lot of my customizations. I'm still making changes to it and testing and optimizing a lot of the graphics and GPU, but man, I'm super impressed. Now the loading screens and those types of things, I probably will change this up a little bit, but it's kind of interesting. Right now I'm using a display capture. This might load in at 8K or 4K display. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's gonna be at least 4K. I'm gonna do a resize after we load in. So this is the desktop I was using and I'm about to do some changes. One second. It's kind of funny, even at a 4K display, this does run pretty quick, but we're gonna make it so you can actually see the screen. All right, that's better. And then we're just gonna reload our desktop environment or window manager, I should say. And there we go. Now we're on the desktop of the orange pie. And if we load up our terminal, we can do a NeoFetch. Again, this is just this basic machine. And in the orange pie 800s, why I chose it is it had a lot of bang for buck, uh, the actual per cost on these machines are about $120, I think, maybe 140 with shipping and stuff, uh, but still pretty darn low for uh, what you get. You get four gigs of memory, a six core processor. It is using the RK3399 chipset, uh, but overall very impressed with just writing and everyday usage, even browsing the web is pretty good. Uh, let me shift this. We're gonna keep the terminal one in workspace two. Terminal one, let's launch our browser. Uh, Brave recently introduced an ARM spin of their browser. So I'm starting to implement a lot of my stuff. I'm gonna install probably Momentum Bar and, and some other customizations to make this even more desktop-esque experience. So just pulling up like ChrisTitus.com, just to give you a feel of what that looks like and the overall look it feels like a desktop. This is the very first time I've gotten a Linux ARM-based system that feels very close to what my desktop actually is, which is pretty darn awesome. I love how fast this is. Now with a lot of these ARM machines, the big downside that I see is YouTube. Like when you load up YouTube on these, it's not the best experience. I would say you can get away with 720, but a lot of the encoding and how YouTube works isn't great. And we're gonna launch into one of my most recent videos. Let's say this one right here. All right, it loaded it pretty quick. Let's see, the default here, it's loading at 480. I found that doing like 720p, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself so we don't get a bunch of echo. And we're gonna pull up stats for nerds. And the big thing here is the drop frames. Now using like an Odroid or a Raspberry Pi at 1080p, doesn't matter which one you choose, it's not a great experience and it's not very good. But 720, you can see we have almost a perfect uh, encoding experience. So 720 on YouTube is actually very good. This is the best performance I've seen out of any ARM-based uh, system from Raspberry Pi to Odroid. I'm really happy with the Orange Pi 800 and the customizations to make it this good. 
Having said that, when we get into going up to 1080p, it's still not equivalent to a full-blown desktop experience. You're going to see it's going to be dropping frames here. So right now, you'll see it's starting to drop frames. It's still usable, but you can make out the edges. It's it's not 100%. And if you look at the drop frames, I'd say about it's dropping every one in five frames probably. Something in that realm is what we're experiencing. Still though, doable at 1080p, but really I would, I would stick to uh, a full 720 resolution when it comes to this type of thing. So that's YouTube for you. That's the only letdown, but as far as everything else on this machine, it is working very good. Like just launching into Vim, you can see this is working great. I'm able to edit my files, do a lot of the things that I normally do. It's snappy and it feels good. And a lot of that is contributed to Ubuntu's ARM branch. I love this. I'm going to continue developing it as this is something that I want to kind of be able to share with everyone and just say, hey, this is how I customize every bit. And I'm taking all my projects, lining them up, and then customizing it into the ARM branch to make a very functional ARM system that looks good, very functional with all my projects, and you can actually use it as a desktop replacement. The only downside being that YouTube, I haven't seen anything else. I'm going to keep tinkering with this and I'm going to update you in a couple of weeks when I have this a little bit more primed and ready to show full thing. But first thing I wanted to do in this video is just say, if you're thinking about building on these ARM, these cheap ARM boxes, these SOCs, I would say Ubuntu ARM is probably the best I've seen out of all of the ARM spins. Uh, I think Arch, is a very, very close second. I just don't like certain aspects of Arch where my projects are more based and geared towards a Debian-based environment, which Ubuntu fits in so nicely. So those are really my two recommendations for these types of devices. I love this. And hopefully you could see what's going on in this realm. And where Ubuntu is actually doing extremely good at is the server space. I, I've never given them any props or, or whatnot, but here I have to tip my hat and say, great job with the ARM-based spin and a lot of the packages here. Uh, one thing I will leave you with is just catting the ETC app sources. You'll notice I am using all of the official Ubuntu ARM. Orange Pies by default, when you get these from the manufacturer, they're using a, a China-based mirror uh, with their own packages. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to stay uh, more on the stable branch that official canonical Ubuntu is using and just use the ARM64 packages. And I would say it works extremely well, way better than I thought it ever would. And yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave this video. Let me know your thoughts on Ubuntu ARM and how it's doing because this to me, you just can't get much better.